Hey everyone, it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts. And in this video, I'm going to be creating a scrapbook layout for Simple Story Saturdays, which is a collab and YouTube hop hosted by my good friend Joanne Bartell. And we're joined by nine other creative YouTubers where once a month we get together and we create a layout using only Simple Stories collections. Okay, so during this process video, you might notice that I am talking with my hands quite a bit, and that was because I was scrapping with Joanne while I was creating this layout, or at least the first part of the layout. I think I started uh, one day in the evening and worked on it for a couple of hours while I talked to her, and then I finished it the next day. So for this layout, I'm using a collection called Oh Happy Day, and I'm looking through the six by eight paper pad. And I thought that this was the only paper I had from this collection. And later on, I'm going to find out that I have some more paper that is 12 by 12. But I'm starting out with the 6 by 8 paper pad. And I love the colors in this collection. The bright yellow and then that red. And it's just really cute. So as I was looking through the paper, I came across this paper with this really cute globe that had the saying, life is about the journey. And I thought that was a perfect title for this layout because I'm scrapping a picture of my sister Jeannie. We went on a cruise, this was back in 2019, and we had gone up to a lounge to have a drink. And this is a picture of her that was taken there. And uh, I'm going to use that as my title. So I was trying to figure out what design to use for this layout. And at first I was thinking about using four six by six papers and creating a grid layout. But then I changed my mind and I was thinking about maybe just doing strips of paper along the bottom of the layout because this paper was super cute and I couldn't just pick a couple of pages. <laughs> and so I ended up going all the way across the bottom of the layout with these strips of paper. And I did some quick math and decided that each strip of paper should be one and a quarter inch wide. And I was going to use eight different patterns. And I thought I did a good job with the math, but no, I didn't. <laughs> I ended up not getting it quite right. And I had a little bit of a space left over, but I'm going to just fill it in with the same paper that I use on the right side of the layout. I'll put it on the left side of the layout. It'll just, you know, fill in the space. And I don't think you would notice it unless I pointed it out to you. So <laughs> isn't it funny how we point out our mistakes? Do you ever show somebody your layout and you'll say, look at my layout and they'll be like, oh, it's beautiful. And you'll say, yeah, but look, I did this and I have glue over here and I messed this up. <laughs> And they probably would have never noticed it if you wouldn't have pointed out all your mistakes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cut each one of these uh, into a one and one quarter inch strip. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead because I don't think that y'all want to probably watch me uh, do this part. <laughs> So now that I have my paper strips, I'm going to take my ATG gun and just add some adhesive to the back of each strip and adhere to my background. And I'm using a white cardstock as my background. Now as I am doing this, I am feeling the paper and thinking how nice it is. <laughs> and I told Joanne, I said, Simple Stories has some of the nicest paper. I, I just love their paper so much. It's got such a smooth feel to it and it cuts really easily. It's so super easy to fussy cut. And I just love their paper so much. I think the only other paper that is better than the Simple Stories paper is Cartabella. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody out there that has better paper than Cartabella. That's like the most luscious paper ever. <laughs> but I love Simple Stories and their paper is really, really good. Uh, okay, so I'm almost finished going across the bottom of the layout and I'm realizing that I'm going to come up short. <laughs> but I'm just going to go with it and I decided to add a ninth pattern to my design here and then I'm going to finish it off with a small strip of the stripe paper that I started with. So on the right side of my layout and the left side of my layout I'll have that stripe. And in the end, this layout is so busy, you're never going to notice it. I don't think y'all would have noticed it, except that I pointed out my mistake. <laughs> so next, I'm going to work on my title. And I'm going to fussy cut out this globe. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a green and white check border all the way around 
this because there were some parts of this that would have been very difficult to fuzzy cut if I would have tried to cut right up against the edge of the design. And I thought this was really adorable. I did go around the entire globe once and then went back over it. And uh, I do that sometimes. It makes it a little bit easier if you just do a quick cut and then go back and just trim off any excess wherever you need to. And this is a good technique to use anytime you're leaving a border because doing the borders are a little bit more difficult, I think, than when you're following along with the image. So I had shared a video on my YouTube channel a while back about fussy cutting and shared some tips and techniques. So if you're interested in learning more about fussy cutting, be sure and check that video out and I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can find that one. So I decided that I wanted to pop up this globe with some foam tape because I wanted to overlap it on top of the picture, just add a little bit more dimension. And so I was super excited to be able to go over to my closet and just grab a piece of fun foam without having to get up on the ladder. <laughs> because in my old house, in my old craft room, I had this stored in the closet and I would have to get the ladder out every time I wanted to get a piece of this fun foam. So I hardly ever used it. And I wanted to make sure that I started using this more because it is less expensive than using the uh, Scotch 3M foam tape, which, which is what I use most of the time. Okay, so I'm just going to use my ATG and uh, just add this fun foam all over the back of this. And uh, it did take me a little bit of time to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead. So I did have some embellishments to go along with this collection, and I'm looking through the ephemera pack. And one of the things that I'm realizing as I'm going through this ephemera is that although the ephemera is super busy, and when I put it onto my layout, it really just blends right into the background. <laughs> so I am pulling out some pieces, just going through looking to see what might work for the layout. There's a lot of things in this collection about family and uh, being together, and it just didn't really fit uh, the look and feel and the subject matter of this layout. Okay, so now it's the next day, and I had this idea that I could take this yellow paper and put it at an angle there at the bottom and use that as a place to put some embellishments and make them be able to stand out against the background. But before I do that, I wanted to go ahead and map my photo. And so I'm looking through the different six by eight papers, looking to see if I can find some paper to use to map the photo. And I chose three different papers. I'm going to use this uh, peach color paper first, and that'll make the picture pop a little bit from the mat. Then I'm going to use a darker floral paper. And then the third paper that I'm going to use is a light green floral. And I thought that the way that these papers layered together, it came out really pretty. So whenever I'm using a triple mat like this, I like to use the We Are Memory Keepers layering guides. But those are packed somewhere in a box and I don't know where they are. So I'm using this Creative Memories Personal Trimmer. This is the trimmer that I usually use when I cut my photos. It's really awesome for cutting down photos, but it's also awesome for cutting small things and getting um, some really accurate cuts. And so I like to use this sometimes if I'm matting a photo. Okay, so it's time to try to figure out how I'm going to tone down this busy background so we can actually add some of these embellishments. And I had this idea that I would put the paper at an angle. And I did this recently on a card that I created, and it was really cute. I decided that maybe I'd try it on the layout, but I don't really think it suited the layout. I tried moving this around on the side, on the bottom. I tried adding another piece on the top. And I just was not loving the way that that was looking. And eventually I decided instead of adding a diagonal or a triangle there at the bottom, I would just turn that into a tag. So I took the piece of paper that I had there that was the triangle and I just cut it into a rectangle, angled the corners, I used a hole punch, and then I used a hole reinforcer punch to cut out some little hole things that add to the tag just to give it a little bit more interest and then just added that to the bottom of the layout. So I decided to add some twine to my tag. I like to do this whenever I have a tag because it adds a different texture to your layout and I chose this natural twine or jute and it looks like a rope and I thought it really suited the look and feel of the layout 
and I do think that this turned out really well. You can see the embellishment so much more and it created a place for all of my embellishments to rest. And it also gives a place for your eyes to rest because uh, that background sure is busy. <laughs> so I'm looking for a little bit something to add at the bottom of the tag. It just looks a little plain there. And I looked through the sticker book and I, I decided to add this sticker down there on the bottom corner. And I really liked how that turned out. Also, I'm going to use a flare button that I have that says, I love my sister, because this is a picture of my sister. And I added a tab there at the top of the picture just to bring that yellow up to the top of the layout. And I created the tab by using the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch and some of that yellow paper. And then I added one of the stickers to the tab as well. Because the stickers had a white background, I wanted to add more of the stickers to the layout just to make it more cohesive because I didn't want to just have that one sticker at the bottom of the layout that had white. I wanted to carry that white through to each one of the clusters. And later I'm going to add a flare button that says, I love my sister. And the background of the flare button had white in it. So it carried that color through the layout and made it look more like it belonged there. So I finished building all the clusters. I added some dimension on some of those uh, ephemera pieces with some foam tape. And now I'm just gonna add some finishing touches by adding in some enamel dots. And I got out my enamel dots. These are enamel dots I keep by color in some acrylic drawers. And I decided to use yellow, red, and blue. But the blue ones, I, I couldn't figure out which ones would go with this layout because that blue that's on there, it's a really dark navy blue and most of the blues are just too bright and so they didn't really go. So I went back to my color bins and got out the green enamel dots and I used a light green. So I'm just going to scatter these enamel dots around the layout in three different places. I like to use all three colors in different sizes and just randomly put them on the layout. And I wanted to just mention once more to please go sh and check out everyone else's videos that is participating in this YouTube hop. It's really a lot of fun to see what everyone creates with their Simple Stories collections. So I hope y'all enjoyed this scrapbook process video. And if you did, please give this video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos and you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join my channel. Okay, so I'm going to share with you some close-ups of the layout. And then I have a short video clip of my two dogs, Bella and Lilybell, that I'm going to share at the very end. So if you want to see that, stick around to the end. But that's all I have. Hope you all have an awesome weekend, and I hope to see you next time. Bye now. Hi girls, what y'all doing? <laughs> Miss Bella, you look quite upset, but I don't know why. <laughs> Are you unhappy? What you got to say? Do you want to say hello to everyone? Would you like to say hello to the YouTube people? <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Come on, give us a little bark. <laughs> no, you really don't? Come on, say, say hi. They like to see you. Y'all are both objecting. <laughs> You're like, we need to get paid. Yeah, you need to get paid. Yeah. I take, I, yeah, I take videos of you all the time and post them on YouTube, right? Yeah. <laughs> you think you're a star? You know you are? <laughs> you're famous? Oh, you're famous. Are you famous too, Lily Bell? <laughs> Y'all are funny. <laughs> I guess I can pay you. Would you like would you like a treat? You'd like a treat? Yeah? Okay, well let's go get the treat. Come on, let's go in your room. That's not your room. Your room's over here. <laughs> Miss Bella, you gonna go in your room? Miss Bella, go in your room. I'm going to get you a treat. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. 
I'll you go in after me? Okay. All right. All right, here we go. We're in the girls' room, in the laundry room. <laughs> and we got the treat jar right here. Okay, are you ready for your treat? You are? Can you sit? Oh, you're gonna do it down? Can you do it down? <laughs> can you do it down? Good job! Okay, back up so I can give you the treat. Back up. Okay, here we go, Miss Bella. Whoops, you dropped it. Whoops. <laughs> Everybody's dropping their treats. <laughs> and there she goes. All right, well, that's all we have. Y'all take care. Hope y'all have an awesome weekend, and we hope to see you next time. Bye now.